In this short video, I am going to show you one of the new features that is now available in STAD Pro Connect Edition version 22 update 2. In this version of the program, STAD can now display the results from different steel designs. So if your input file contains multiple parameter blocks, such as what might be required if you're doing both a strength design and a deflection design for your steel model, then the post processor will be able to show you the results of each steel design, as well as the steel design that produced your maximum interaction ratios. In previous versions of STAD Pro, you were only able to see the results of the last steel design check that you asked the program to perform in the post processor. Let us now turn our attention over to our STAD Pro model that has been created in STAD Pro Connect Edition version 22 update 2. For this particular model, I am I have incorporated two different steel design checks. I am checking the main structural members for strength design, which is located in the parameter one folder. And I am checking the high roof level for deflection using the parameter two folder. Now, if I were to perform an analysis at this point, I would be able to see the results of both of these design checks within the post processor. Now, new in version 22, update two, we're gonna have um, our multiple design results table. Again, this is a newer feature that's going to allow me to review the results for all of the steel design checks I performed, not just the last one that was included in the out output file. Right now on screen, I am seeing the results from parameter one folder, basically my strength design results. That's what's indicated here. Um, if I wanted to see parameter two, I can flip through this, or I can also see the maximum, because again, strength might be governing for some, serviceability might be governing for each other. So I can see the results clearly on screen. Um, this indicates our interaction ratios. The model is also color coded. Anything in green means it's passing. Anything in blue means that it's failing. Anything in red means it's an extreme failure. We identify extreme failures as anything with an interaction ratio greater than 1.5. Let's now take a look at this multiple design results table that's new. For each member in the model, we're going to be able to see the parameter that these results are showing and we're gonna see pass or fail. Now everything up here looks like parameter one, but once we get to members that were included both strength and serviceability, we'll be able to see both. So for example, member number 36 was included in both strength design and service design. Here I can see both of them passed. Looks like for this member, strength design was the limit state because it's identifying parameter one as having a higher interaction ratio. Uh, if I scrolled on down, I will be able to see all these additional results. Actually here for member 65, I could see parameter one, which is a strength design that was passing. Uh, serviceability or deflection is, is actually failing, okay? So I'll be able to see basically all of the results in the all tab. I can go to the maximum tab, which will basically identify which check is controlling. So here again, say member number 36, now I can see again that strength design was controlling. Um, I can see member 65, which is one that I just looked at. It's parameter two, that's a serviceability check. That's what's giving me the maximum failure. And then if I wanted to be certain of which ones were passing or failing, I can select the failure tab and get all that information here. And again, it will let me know which command yielded that failure for that particular model.